Well, I was a design draftsman at the time, 50 years ago. Uh, Peter Pemberton came along, he was the en engineer on the job, and he said, we've got a very quick rush job to do, and he got a few of the leading draftsmen together, and he said, what, we, we've had an offer uh, from the Americans on the Redstone rocket to use the last Redstone rocket, which they use for re-entry trials, um, to put up a, a satellite. So what we needed to do is we were firstly given the interface with the Redstone rocket and then the university and a few other institutions uh, designed some experiments that they wanted to put up in this satellite. So my job was uh, to draw up a structure which interfaced with the Redstone rocket and also housed all the experimental gear inside with windows to the outside and so it was a matter of preparing a, a structure, a structural frame, a skin and mountings inside for all the instruments. One Saturday afternoon Peter came in and he said, right boys, hop in the car and uh, we all drove into North Terrace and at the time uh, there was a, a Gemini capsule on display in North Terrace and uh, Peter Pemberton arranged with the City Council or whoever to actually close it for an hour to allow us to go inside and uh, see what we could learn how things were done. Well firstly we learned that things in there were fairly, some things were fairly rough. Uh, obviously it was done in a hurry and Obviously it was only a one-off unit and uh, so we, we had a good look around and we came back and we learned a few things and carried on drawing. The, the university came along and, and they, they gave us drawings of their mm. equipment, their, their, their tents uh, and it was just a matter of mounting it and it had to undergo some rigid, rigorous vibration to withstand the vibrations of the launch. We went up, I went, I went up to Woomera to see the launch and with minus about 10 minutes or 10 seconds or something, it was halted and we didn't know when it was going to go again. Uh, but it, so I came back and it went off the next day. Light up. Lift off. Thinking back, I wouldn't have thought it was so long ago. And uh, it's amazing how much I've forgotten about it. It's sort of coming back to me now. But it, it was a time when we liked the job and we were looking forward to coming to work in the morning, having thought at night about how we do things and I couldn't get to work quick enough to put it on paper. And it, it was a very interesting and stimulating time. And uh, we all worked very closely together. And uh, well, I guess we're proud that we got a satellite up. It passes through an atmospheric layer of high humidity. The line of fire is six degrees east of north. and I believe it all worked well and uh, the university and the other institutions that instruments in there got the data that they were looking for. Mm, that's quite an achievement. Yes. <laughs>